Hi, my name's Jim Carter from Xtronics Limited, and I wanted to show you how to use the new Raspberry Pi PoE adapter from Xtronics Limited with a Raspberry Pi 2. But first I wanted to explore the differences between the original Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi 2. Now this is a Raspberry Pi B, has a single USB stack, and a 26-way GPIO connector. And when we introduced our original power over ethernet adapter, we used that 26-way GPIO connector to connect the two boards together. We also used these fixing holes to make this into a rigid module. We've been selling the original PoE adapter for about two years. And then Raspberry Pi Foundation introduced the B+, and they've made some changes. There are two USB stacks, but more importantly, the GPIO connector is now 40 pins and not 26 pins. The first 26 pins are identical, so you can still actually use the original PoE adapter from Xtronics Limited and power the board. But access to the remaining GPIO pins is a little bit tricky, and there's no fixing hole anymore in the bottom of the board. They've been moved to the edge of the board. Then the Raspberry Pi Foundation introduced the Pi 2. It looks identical to the B+, which it is, except it has a bigger processor and more memory. And once again, it has the 40-way GPIO connector, and the first 26 ways are identical, so you can still use the original Raspberry Pi PoE adapter from Xtronix. But, once again, the fixing hole doesn't exist. So, we decided to introduce a new model of our power over ethernet adapter, and here it is, and it has a 40-way connector, which goes over the GPIO connector, and we represent the GPIO connector pins in a 40-way connector on the top for you to use. We also give you a 2-pin connector, which has plus 5 volts on it. Now, to use this, you plug in the short Ethernet lead into the Raspberry Pi board, and you get your Ethernet lead from your IEEE 802.3AF compatible injector or switch, and you plug it into this connector here, and then this light comes on here, indicating that power is being supplied to the Raspberry Pi, and the Raspberry Pi will then go through its boot-up sequence. So, there you have it how to use the new PoE injector from Xtronics Limited on a Raspberry Pi 2. Thank you very much for watching.